Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back. It's been forever. It's, it's been, been too long. Life happened and a lot of things happened. Moved, uh, we bought a home, we found out we were pregnant. Hold up, hold up. What? into it we're yeah, gonna dive into we, it yeah because we decided to give y'all life updates while we mask and chat because we can like have a real good like solid conversation yeah. uh because we have a full skincare routine happening today okay y'all we are doing a detox mask a moisture mask some treating we're doing the whole shebang today so I know that. like she's giving me like the ultimate treatment like normally she'll give me like Here's a cleanser, a moisturizer, a little something, something. Well, but now she's like going in. Listen, like she because got the machine here, like she giving me everything. We have the the face steamer today. Like that's our special okay, little then. like extra okay. Okay, for the facial aspect because we both need it. It's been cold. We just came out of what? What are they calling it? Snow. We didn't even bring that it, bring that up. Like it, we also survived <laughs> like the worst winter weather in Texas. Ever. Since like, yeah, the like, since like the 1800s. Like, like it's like, never been as cold, precipitation. It's been. So stupid. a lot has happened. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump right in. We're going to start first with our cleansing mask, which is, well, not really a cleansing mask, but it's a clay mask that is going to pull out dirt from our pores. You always want to start with this first because you want to first remove the bad things and then put in the good things. So Substitute. that's what we're doing. That's a word right there, bud. What? Moving. When you move the bad stuff, you gotta put something in its place. That's good, right? Ooh, but they out here pre they out here preaching. Early. Oh, oh my gosh. Here we go. <laughs> he always tries to say this, and I'm like, no, I'm just talking. I'm hey, not. she be dropping. I'm telling y'all all day. She just be dropping bars, and I walk up behind her, pick them up, put it in my pocket, and keep it moving. Cause she, yeah, like she be dropping them gems for real. Anyway, I really don't like putting my fingers in these tubs, but today we're gonna be getting all the hands in the things. But if you are someone who is like germ-aphobic, just make sure you wash your hands before you do this or use the little spatula things. I always lose them, so it is what it is. But yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get started. So we got married um, and like that was bliss and it's, it's been amazing, it's been bliss. And then we started to look for a home and looking for a home was very much so like, we look in, but we kind of know what Texas has to offer. And we were just like, you know what? We'll look every now and then, not really expecting anything to pop up, but we're open and we're ready. And one day I'm driving home and babe sent me two homes, like two links. And I'm looking at one, it was cool, it was all right. It was better than what we'd been seeing, but it wasn't yet like us. It didn't like jump off the page. And then the second link, I was like, yo, that looks like us. Like that, I'm talking about every, every, every detail, locate, like everything just fit perfectly. So really, truly, we saw this home. I sent it to Mark, like he said, and we just like loved it. We drove to the home at like nine o'clock at night. We in parked in the garage, well not parked in the garage, but like in the driveway. driveway yeah. And we just like sat and talked to each other and said, you know what, like if this is our house, then like God give us a sign that this is our house. And so Let's we prayed it. and we mm -hmm. claimed it and we left. And since then that was where our journey began to get into this home. And so when we were reaching out to different like mortgage lenders and things like that because of COVID, you know, it's already hard to get um, a loan when you are self-employed because you have to prove income for like a consecutive amount of time, I think. I had to have at least two years of like taxes prepared in order to show proof of income. So that was one thing that was like, thankfully I had my stuff together, but you know, there were so many barriers to, you know, even like the debt to income ratio uh, percentage for different banks increased um, or decreased. So like you couldn't have as much debt as you could before COVID to take on the loan. So we were getting told no a lot. And there was a day when I was just like sitting in Sarai's room 
And I had just gotten told no by another mortgage lender that I was really banking on or we were really banking on. And I was just like sad and I was just like telling Mark, I was like, they said no, like I don't think that this is gonna happen. Like it's really not gonna go through. And he just like encouraged me, it was just like, did God say this was our house? If it is, then we have to continue to have faith that it is our house. And not faith with like, like one lender told us to like look at cheaper houses. And they opened her phone to start looking. I'm like, nah, like we want that house. God said we're getting that house. I don't know how it's gonna happen. Listen. <laughs> and because, it's out of our hands. Right. Right. But it's gotta happen. And the same lender that initially suggested that we look at cheaper homes in the same conversation also encouraged us to, to keep going, to say, you know what? Somehow, some way, if you believe that it's gonna happen, don't get discouraged by the no's. Like, keep trying. Like, we will work with you to figure out a way to make this thing happen. And they stood by us and ended up being the mortgage company that gave us our loan. We were able to make it work when it came down to paper. And to this day, y'all, I don't, I still don't know how we were able to get it done. Like, our mortgage lenders helped so much, and it was so cool because the mortgage ladies that helped us were like our age. Like they were like in their thirties, most of them, or I think it was like a, a team of like two to three women. And they were all moms, like all like in their thirties, like super passionate about getting us into this home. So like that just like helped us like keep going in the process because if you've ever bought a home or attempted to buy a home, it's a lot it's a and it, it, and a lot of stuff that like you don't know until you're in it that like oh well you gotta have this ready you have that Yo, it was we didn't a have lot. a realtor until like about two weeks in and we're wanting to see the home and her mom was coming to town and all this we're like okay cool like let's go check out the house we didn't realize that a realtor could give us access to to really the house well, at any time and it was again covid a lot of um, sellers in our area would not show a house unless you had a pre-qualification yeah, yeah. um, letter. Yeah. And that was part of the reason was because they didn't want a ton of people you know, walking through these homes and obviously contaminating them. So it was a lot of stuff that like in, were almost like extra barriers that like God just like moved out the way for us, honestly. Or put somebody there that understood that we weren't fully savvy and wasn't really trying to take advantage of us, but right. wanted us to like have the have the best experience possible. Right. My God mom, she was our realtor. And when I say like, she helped us so much. She looked out for Listen, us. Listen, we she just fought for call, us. Like we, we called her on, on a, a random, whim, on right? random day because we didn't realize we needed to have a, it was a realtor. It was oh a yeah, Sunday. it was a Sunday, Sunday night, and we didn't realize that like in order to even see the home, we needed to have a realtor with us, and we didn't even think of her until literally that moment. He was like, "Well, hold on, my godmom has been selling homes for 20 years." I'm like, "Well, shoot, let's call her," and we called her, and she just like hopped right in and made everything happen. Like Shut it was up, like. Shannon. Yes, we love you because yes. listen, we wouldn't yes. have made it in this house without you. At all. At, At all. all. So yeah, we did all that, but we got into the home um, the Monday after Thanksgiving and it was incredible. Um, moved in two days, got everything in, family was here. Family got an opportunity to come. But hold on, we skipped a part. What's up? So in the process, we came and saw this house what three different times? All right, three different times. We three prayed different in times, and we prayed time. in it every single time. So look, y'all, I'm a well, not really as much this year, but I've been a Cowboys fan like my entire life, and their first game was on the first day of the open house, the only open house they did for this home between two to four, which most Cowboys games start around noon. So this was Cowboys Falcons. It was actually a good game, but I was met with the challenge. Do you do you watch this good game with your stepdad and your uncle with, with wing stop and just the whole vibe? Or do you go to this open house? Bay was out of town, couldn't go. So I came alone. There were about 10 people in the home walking around and everybody loved the house. And I'm just walking around praying in every single room. I prayed in the backyard, I prayed on the patio, I prayed in the garage, I prayed in every part. And we kept that going, so every time we came to the home, 
no matter who was with us, we held hands, we prayed in the living room. We literally claimed this house at every single, single step, point. at yep. every single point. To where by the time we get to them telling us no, it's like, nah, God didn't bring us all the way here. God didn't give us all these signs that it was ours mm -hmm. to then say, eh, actually, right. <laughs> no. And if he did, that would have meant that that was something even better for us that we yeah. couldn't see at the and time. And we just had to believe that if it wasn't this house, it was going to be something better. But we knew it was this house. So yeah, it was like, know, yeah. even for me, it was like kind of a battle because I'm looking at the paperwork and I'm looking at, you know, just everything, sending stuff back and forth to the mortgage people to get our like, you know, our debt to income ratio right. And, and just like playing with the numbers and all that kind of stuff to make it make sense. Um, especially with the type of work that I do, like I write off a lot of my expenses. And so it just got into the nitty gritty of that stuff. And so you just didn't know. And so we had to have faith and we did and we ended up getting our house. So like thinking about that now, like right now, I didn't see a lot of that stuff. So like mm -hmm. even when your faith waned a bit because of hearing that note, mm -hmm. you'd also had all these reasons to like nail that note in in mm -hmm. terms of like, here's a black and white. I, I never saw that. So I was just like, I'm just going to have faith. Yeah. Like. That's wow, wow. And you, and I honestly, it had to be that way because it had to. I, yeah, I'm, I'm the numbers person. Yeah. Like I'm the one who's like crossing the T's and dotting the I's for our family. So when I'm looking at that stuff, I'm like, uh, there's a lot on here that I don't know. But he was solid the whole time. Like this is our house. This is our house. We gotta have faith. We gotta have faith. And I think it allowed us as a partnership to like, you know, show God that like, we believe in him. Like we're here, we, we, we got this and we can do it. And we also just made certain promises to God about this home that we're keeping. So that's, you know, a whole nother conversation for another day. But there are certain things that we claimed upon this home uh, that I think also contributed to God you know, allowing us to have this home. Got into the home, then right after was the holidays. Like, so, well, no, we were in the holidays. It was a day, it yeah, was, it the was a day. Monday after Thanksgiving. Yeah. <laughs> so it was like a whole, well then, so because of COVID, my sister Simone, y'all know Simone, and my younger sister Madison, they were living in Philly and they were planning on coming to Texas for the holiday season, but uh, they ended up coming up super early because essentially Philly was on a way more strict lockdown than Texas. And the weather was bad. The weather was, was bad. Like, like they were just ready to get out. So they ended up coming to, to stay with us for like almost six weeks, I think. Simone was here for like two, almost three months um, living with us, her and Kaya. Uh, and then, you know, here and there, my younger brother Malik would come and, and stay with us. Uh, my mom was here for a period of time. So it was like our home instantly became like the common place. Yeah, yeah. Or we didn't, well, we didn't, our first like family time, like we were, we were only like just got both on house was what, like January? January, yeah, yeah. Because we also had yeah. our other daughter, Ariana, was visiting here with us too. So we had a full house the entire holiday season. Um, on top of that, we found out that we were pregnant. So yep. it was just like, <laughs> literally we found out we were pregnant, what? Like in the middle of the home buying process. Yeah. Like in the yeah. middle of it. So it just, the timing was impeccable as well because the place that we were staying in our town home that oh, we were renting, oh my it, gosh. Yeah, we can't even talk about it publicly, yeah. okay? We can't even talk about it. We can it. say this though. It definitely wouldn't have been fit for another baby life. no no it, it, it was yeah there was multiple reasons why yeah, yeah, and so yeah, yeah. we weren't even really actively looking for a home and this home came available and so like god just made it work out and so when we found out we were having another baby we were like you know excited but also because it was in the middle of the home buying process we were like oh my gosh lord now you gotta really come through because we really need the space and just like you know the the space the just quiet, the, the quiet the just like everything yeah. we needed that yeah. and yeah. uh to just be our best selves and so found out we were having another baby so we were all excited about that my first trimester was uh horrific i was sick the whole time 
um, like on and on and on, like all day nausea, uh, vomiting daily. Like, can't ride in the car. Just, I mean, vomiting in the car yeah. on regular basis. She had a, a purse full of like remedies. Oh my gosh, I had peppermint <laughs> oil I was sniffing 24 seven. I was taking these little like homeopathic, like sugar pellets that help your, settle your stomach. I yeah. was, you know, I, I was doing, uh, the peanut butter crackers, I was trying to do all the things because with Sarai, I really didn't have um, like morning sickness and stuff that bad. I had it, but it wasn't nearly as bad as this time. And lo and behold, we found out we're having a boy. So obviously I could kind of tell, like, okay, this is a totally different, different. pregnancy. This, this was, was different. different. This was different. Um, yeah, so yeah, boy. It, yeah, we were just like, whoa. Like, so of course he's like over the moon excited about having a, a boy, a son. Yeah. And so yeah. we've just been really embracing like this whole season and this time of just like, figuring out like what's most important like making sure we don't lose our relationship within all these things because we just got married like we still only got yeah, married in yeah, july i mean yeah. in june so and a lot of like life events a lot like happening on top of each other and i would say normally like it from the outside looking in it may look like there's a lot going on it's it's a lot it's heavy mm -hmm. but i think that in the midst of all this as well like we both really um Tighten up our relationships with God. Like, had to, tight, had to. tight to where it's like it's literally a a daily thing that we're both indulging because as individuals like, and yeah, as a family and as a family and also um, sharing that with other couples, other um, young people mm -hmm. that just like we can minister to and like help to deal with all the events that's happening yeah. in life for everybody. Yeah. Cause the thing is, is that, you know, I was, I was having a conversation with my dad a, a couple months ago and I was kind of like running down the list of like the things we needed to do. Um, this was like closer to when we first had moved into the house and he was just like, Jay, that's a lot. Like y'all have a lot on your plate. And I was like, dad, like to be honest with you, don't it doesn't, doesn't feel doesn't like feel it like because it. we are so like in the deep okay we are deep. literally like we out here <laughs> we out here and just we trusting here. god to like take the weight because yeah, if you yeah. wrote down on paper everything that we've been dealing with not just like moving and a new baby coming in our relationship oh, but like hold on marriage is hard and we can talk about that at another time because that's like a whole but series also, of conversations. But also like how <laughs> our marriage and our like growth changes everything else everything around else us around and us. and how it required us to be, I don't even know how to explain it. It requires us to be more honest about like where we're at with the other people that we love. And that includes friends, family like it just started to become this thing where god was like highlighting our struggle points but also like the struggle points in others that like we needed to help with and one of the things that we said ever since deciding to move back to texas was like we knew god had an assignment for us to help our family mm -hmm. so like literally <laughs> While all of this stuff is going on between us and our own family, like immediate family, there's all these other situations that like we're being leaned on for yeah. and we're being leaned on for as a couple, we're being leaned on for as individuals and like trying to find the balance of all of that as well as work, as well as being parents. Like being it's been, it's just been a lot. Yeah. And so it's literally been by the grace of God and him taking the weight off of us because mentally it is too much to bear by yeah. ourselves. It is literally yeah. too much to bear. And so we just have tried to be like living examples of non-perfection, but progression. Like we are not claiming to know everything, doing everything right, but we're always trying to progress and we see the benefits of that progression. And we just want to share that with other people, Yeah. which is why we're trying to be just more transparent and more honest about the conversations that we have. Um, especially here on my platform and then also through God Bolt and the things that the brand is doing. Uh, it's just about transparency, honesty, uh, love at the end of love, the day. Love, yo. Um, love. 
Yeah, love so love conquers all that. All love things. It. So yeah, so why don't you talk a little bit about like where Gabo oh, is? See how babe just and... threw that out of you up there. Okay, <laughs> she just like he go, babe. Let me dunk this right quick. So yeah, so Gabo was on a pause for a couple of months, just like getting life together um, and really seeking God for what was next. Like we we just talked about everything happens on purpose and that will never stop. But I've been working on our own t-shirt from scratch cut and sew for the past like almost six months. We had those shirts ready and now I'm asking God like what to put on them. Me and my partner talked for a while and we're both dealing with relationship things and just ways to get out of our own way and really get out of God's way. So um, love came up. Me and my wife were going through some things we're talking through and my stepdad came over to like help us talk through a situation and he pulled me aside and was like, you got to take these things and you got to do this. You got to do that. And I'm like, for what? <laughs> He's like, for love. That's what love is. And he takes me to the word and I was just blown away on the difference between what the Webster's Dictionary says about love and what God says about love in his word. And I wanted to like share that in a very unique wearable way that was still clean, that was still a vibe, but just was talking about what we all need at all times and one of the only things that lasts forever and that's love. So this shirt came about, we also did kids shirts for the first time, um, infant onesies because obviously we got kids. But yeah, like we just wanted to like spread love, but do it in a way to where you're getting quality, you're getting a quality shirt um, that's cut dope, that's just a whole vibe. Then you throw like the message of love on top of it, and it just it just takes it to another level. So we're excited about love now. We'll be talking about love throughout the year through different lenses and just reintroducing love to a whole lot of people that really not only need to receive it but also need to share it with other people all right so we back uh we took off our clay mask and now Ooh. for the fun part we're doing our moisture mask bolt I don't know why you trying to get in this camera. So we're using a face steamer today just because we want an extra pump of moisture. This is like the game changer, okay, for your game at home, <laughs> for your at home facial is getting some sort of steam um, machine or something because this pumping in moisture is just going to like activate whatever mask you're using even more. So we're gonna use the Fresh Rose face mask today. This is one of my all time faves. I've had this for, I don't even know how long, a long time. Huh? Put it all over? Yep. There's literally rose petals in this, so. And it smells so good. And between this one and the vitamin C, the vitamin nectar mask from Fresh, those two, everything. They're so good. Do I not put it in my beard? Uh, I wouldn't. Just because the rose petals might get like caught in there. Very new to this. Okay. But you're getting better, babe. You're learning. Getting better. Well, that's because I'm actually you. Like now, I have my own, you know, man, Fenty skin. He's obsessed. So I shower, I wash my face in the <laughs> shower with the Fenty skin. I get out, put my fat water on. Yeah. So why am I doing this with the face mask on as opposed to it hitting my bare skin? Like the steam. Um, the stain on your bare skin is decent, but this just essentially is going to activate the mask to do more of what the mask is supposed to do. Mm, great, no? gorgeous. Thank you. you like, mm. now, my baby don't even look pregnant. I mean, she looks pregnant. From um, here, here down. From <laughs> <laughs> here down, but, you know, outside of that, she doesn't know, yeah. Listen, I'm trying to stay that way. Last time with Sarai and, you know, the whole gestational diabetes thing, I didn't know I had gestational diabetes. So around this point um, and moving forward in my pregnancy with Sarai, my weight just like skyrocketed because I didn't understand how my blood sugar was working and affecting my body. And so this time around, I actually implemented like the things that I was doing Last time when I was pregnant with Sarai for the gestational diabetes, I am incorporating now. So actually this time too is different because we're not going through a hospital for our prenatal care. 
um, or labor and delivery. We actually are going through a birth center. And that was something I never anticipated us really doing until recently. Because for me, I really enjoyed my experience doing everything in at the hospital in Oregon. But obviously Oregon is different than Texas. Oregon is a great state to have a baby in. Texas, no shade. I love Texas. I, I'm, I am, I consider myself a Texan. I just was unsure about the type of care that I was gonna receive, especially with COVID. Uh, I didn't want to increase my like probability of catching COVID by literally constantly once a month or more going in and out of the hospital when I had another option. And so I had chatted with another girl that I knew had gone through this birth center and she really loved her experience. So I was like, you know what, let's go take a tour. So we went and took the tour and I just like loved it so much, like instantly, like we hadn't even walked in the building yet. And the, the, the building is like a house, like it's like a two story house. Um, and it is a house. It is a house. And there's like a little like park area, like right next to it. So it and just it's like, like less than it's like 20 steps from the hospital, the big so hospital. Yeah. Anymore. So if anything yeah. happened, they have a great relationship with the hospital. They actually train hospital rep, like reps and stuff, nurses and stuff for different scenarios with like birth and labor and all that kind of stuff. So that's a really cool aspect of the birth center. Same hospital I was born at. Same hospital he was born at. So we're literally born. right across the street from it. And uh, instantly the energy just felt right there. And there was like scripture in different aspects of the home and the people there are just like amazing. And so I felt instantly at home and felt like, okay, this is where God wants us to, del to, to deliver our son. So um, mm -hmm. we've been doing our prenatal care through Origins Dallas. Um, and it's been great so far. See, I can already see the mask is sinking into your skin. Hold on, so I don't wash this off? You this do is, wash oh, it okay. off, you do, you do. You more so rinse it off, but yeah. But I can see that like the, at first it was really thick on your skin and now it's literally like thinning out mm. because it's literally going into your pores. That's mm. the good stuff going in. It's the good stuff The good stuff. The good stuff. But if y'all want a more detailed video, like breakdown on like our birth experience or not necessarily birth experience, but well that too, but birth center versus hospital. Uh, the biggest difference is th you have to have a natural birth at a birth center. Uh, so I will not have access to an epidural. That's like the biggest thing about it. I had planned on having a natural birth with Sarai. So I didn't get an epidural until literally 19 hours in because I was dead tired. But you know, this is my second pregnancy and I really believe I have the willpower I believe and it too, babe. the strength. You got this. You I, got I believe this. it. Like we like I she really because giving birth to Sarai was such an empowering experience and I never anticipated that. So whenever we had her, it was like, it was like, I don't even know, like an out of body experience, but like, I felt so strong and so like a super human. <laughs> and <laughs> like ever since. Your blood, her mama had both. Yeah. With no. With no epidural. Yeah. Only because my mom did not like needles, which I'm like, but hey, what? whatever you gotta do to get yourself <laughs> over that finish line. Listen. Hey. Whatever you gotta tell yourself. Listen, that and works. it's temporary. The pain is temporary. Pain is temporary. The pain is temporary. So, so yeah. So I if you want a more work. detailed video on that, like we could definitely chat more. But yeah, it's been great. Um, I'm doing really good. Uh, I think I'm like 20 weeks now. Um, and so baby's doing great. He's growing a little bit ahead of my due date, a couple days ahead of my due date. He's actually, actually due on my birthday. He's actually due on he's his due birthday. On my birthday. Um, which is within the same week as Sarai's birthday. So literally I got a house full of cancers and I'm the one Capricorn, okay? <laughs> so y'all pray for me, all right? Because y'all already know how cancers roll and how Capricorns roll, all right? Ooh, my, my skin actually feels very good. Does it? Yeah, I was looking at it in the mirror like, okay, dude. Oh I yeah, it does. This. I can definitely tell the difference right? in your skin. I tell the difference in your skin. Really? Yeah, I can. Yeah, that, that's why like doing the step of <laughs> doing a step of like a detox mask or like a clay mask and then moisturizing plus that steam it just like takes you to a whole like new level and truly like these are the kind of results that I would get when I used to go get professional facials obviously I haven't been able to get a professional facial in a long time so getting one of these like facial steamers is a must 
have. I've got one that's like a hair and facial steamer, like attachment thing. And then this one that we use today is from Vanity Planet, which I actually like this one a lot because I don't really like, I don't know, I'm kind of over the one that I had, and but I like how sleek and pretty this one is. So next step is going to be um, toner. And so we're gonna use an Old Faithful, one of Mark's favorites, Fat, fat Water. water. Hey. I, I got this specifically for him, y'all, because everything else Yo. I chose pretty much. Side note, babe, Here. if you were ever on a reality TV show, doing like the little informational, whatever they call them, the, the testimonies, wherever those are. Like, Bay talks to her hands like <laughs> nobody I've ever seen. Really? She wouldn't have to get those classes like everybody else, I'm sure, like they have to tell them like, it looks Be more, more impactful, and more yeah. animated when you move your hands. Bay, Bay got it. All well, right. I, I definitely, well, I, mm. I get that from my mom though. Like She's I've like, always, I, 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 I've always I, I, been like very I, 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 like animated. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, you know what though? When I was in college and I was like doing like mock interviews to get a job in higher ed, this is when I was in grad school. And I, um, I was doing these mock interviews and I'm just like da 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 da. And this lady le legit was like telling me about myself. Like I needed to calm down. Nice I need stuff. to like stop using my hands so much. And that was the point that I realized that that was not the career. That I wasn't needed what to you. Be hey, look. Because I was like, we all got gifts. God gave all of us gifts. And for somebody to say, I shouldn't. Use I had never heard that before that ever in my life that like I needed to like calm down. Watch it. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is use a serum. And I just grabbed this because. I like to tone and treat. Really, you only need fat water because if you have fat water, it does both. It tones and it's a serum at the so same I time. Need this. You don't need it, but I I still add a serum on top of fat water just because like I like having multiple steps in my skincare routine. I like to use at least a couple products from the same collection whenever I'm using especially like a mask or something because they're made to work together. They're made to work together. So while she's doing that. I've been trying to talk her into like us doing more things like this. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Because see, I just you see what he's trying to do. He's trying yeah, to get y'all to, to back him up. Se no, seriously. Like we could have talked about the home a lot longer. We could have. We really still haven't dove into marriage. We have not, like, but man, that's like, a whole. There, that's a whole. Yeah, that's yeah. A whole thing. And then like parenthood, parenting is hard. You know, marriage is hard. Like, but these are some of the most um, giving things that you have in your life. And like, we have a lot of stuff that we can talk about. A lot of things that we use to help us. Mm -hmm. A lot of conversations that we have to where we're like, yeah, we could have been recording that because, right. like, even for us. To go back and listen to again because like God will say something and we use one of us to say something or get a message across and it's like whoa, like I can tell that I'm gonna need that at some point. Right. That's a gem. Let me put that in my pocket. But having it on camera, we can share it with y'all. Yeah. And we can go back and watch it ourselves. Right. This is true. Okay. So yeah, if y'all have anything that y'all want us to talk about or if y'all just want us to talk to y'all more, let us know in the comments. Let us know in the comments. God put it on my heart. I'm just waiting on Big Head <laughs> to step in again. Well, I'm already starting to vlog again, okay? So like, <laughs> I'm She announced giving, it I'm on giving. camera, so I guess it's, a, she told me this, but now that she's like, saying it on camera, Here, she's, been, she's been very much so like, I'll bring it up, but she won't say nothing. But she'll like slowly come around. Like every day she'll like go a little bit further. So, well, yeah. because I'm encouraged. You know, I've I'm encouraged. had I've had my reservations in the past about vlogging and like you know I was doing it for a, a minute a few years ago. It's time. Great to hear. Yeah, you want Great some lip? Now I this is like literally. low key glo glossy though. See. Yeah, I don't know if you want that. Oh, I never used it before. This is my that? first time using it. This is um. I always thought that you got glitter in it. <laughs> All right. Dude, got glitter, glitter in, in it. it I, nah. No, it doesn't have glitter, but it's got a little bit of gloss. It's actually really nice. Sarah loves like she loves oh. lip. 
Literally, she loves anything that Bay is doing. All of her products. Oh she my sneaks gosh. Into her she's already and, getting and, into everything. Like, she's getting everything. the brushes. She's getting the makeup, like the the palette. Like she. Like she'll carry a whole like kit of out. of hair stuff. <laughs> like stuff. she knows that it's it's a gel that she uses that we use in her hair. Um, a couple brushes specifically, and she'll uh -huh. grab all these things and like bring them to me like. Let's do hair. Like, it's just so crazy. And then, yeah. like, she has um, some of my chapstick and some of my lip gloss that, like, she carries with her all the time because she always wants, like, some lip. That's what we say. Some lip. <laughs> she wants some <laughs> lip. So she always be pretending to put it on. And I could just see her already. Like, she's a girl's girl, which I'm so excited yeah. about. Yeah. But she's yeah. a girl's girl. So, yeah, y'all, just just give her, give her a few years. <laughs> uh, she'll be doing masculine and chatting with me. And it'll become like, you know, our wash day special that we do every week, sharing what we washing our hair with, what we're deep conditioning with, what we're, you know, marinating, reflecting on from the week. It's going to be all that because, yeah, she's she's down for it. I can she already is. tell she at, at she 19 is. months, she's already here for she all is. of the things. All right, so that completes our whole facial skincare whole facial, yeah. process. Your and skin all our storytelling. Awesome. Yeah. Uh -huh. You know, it looks good. These are these are great because I always learn something new. I always come out looking better than I came in. Hey. <laughs> and like you could just tell like this conversation, it obviously is gonna help y'all, but it helps us as well. Like mm -hmm. to reflect, to remember everything that we've gone through, mm -hmm. everything that we've conquered to give us the like necessary um 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 not security, but what's the word? The damn what's the word? What's the word? I remember the word in the future, but basically to give us the confidence okay. that we got through that, like we can get through Facts. everything that's to come. Facts. And we're only 30. And we only 30. So who knows what what is gonna what is to come after this point. We've already done so much. So it means that we got a lot more to do if we already get in here at 30. And real quick. I need to give a shout out to our friends. I won't say their names yet because I don't know when this is coming out and when okay. they're going to announce, but they got married yesterday. Yes, and two of our closest we friends. We are so excited for them. Like we know what marriage means and what it is and what it's gonna do for yeah. them. So we're like, whenever we hear about people getting married and people that like wanna be married for the right reasons, we're like, let's go. Yeah. Like, that is so incredible. shout out to them. Y'all know, okay? know who y'all are. Y'all know who y'all are. We love y'all. We love y'all. We're sending y'all all of our love and energy all yes. the way from the South to the West Coast. Yes. Yeah. All right, y'all. So that completes our video for today. Definitely appreciate all of your feedback and just comments, love, comments, questions, everything. Hey, if y'all want to see more of us, you know what I'm saying, chit chatting, hit the comments and let us know. Yeah, let us know. All right. Let her know, really, because I already know it. Let her know. All right, y'all. We'll see you in our <laughs> next video. Bye. Bye.